just go. They make all our things. They make poor, poor artists. It's it like all some artists that we don't get poor. Call and call it. Who is? It's very poor. Call and call. Yeah, but it's very poor. Call and So many, so many to cross. Call and call. I wish it. You don't care in the street. Call and call. It's your number one journalist, Mr. Montgomery, and I'm telling you right now, Jesus is coming back. The end times are near. Let me just go and pack my stuff, pack my bags, pack everything because people out here are getting exposed. If you guys didn't see my first video, Shatawale said Samini, Stoneboy, Wizkid, Alamide, and, and, and uh, Yapono. And all the artists out there are poor. If you're not signed to Xylophone Records, listen, man, Shatawale, please adopt me. Because I'm also poor as well. Um, Shatawale, I don't know for this guy, man. This guy loves controversy. I love, listen, I love Shatawale. I love his music. I think um, his last five releases, the last five songs he's put out have all been solid. And I'm talking about hits. I'm not talking about diss tracks. And I think he's just been given the confidence to say whatever he wants because people are going to love him. But anyway, now, I don't know about Yapono. I don't know about Stoneboy. I don't know about Samini. But I can definitely tell you Wizkid and Alamide are not poor. I can definitely tell you Alamide is not poor. Alamide just signed a deal with um, Play Nigeria. If you guys don't know, he's actually launched the first artist to launch his TV channel. Um... Definitely not poor. Definitely got an endorsement deal. Wizkid as well signed an endorsement deal with Nike earlier this year. Sold hundreds and thousands and thousands of records. Big artists. Come on. Everybody knows Starboy is not poor. As for Stoneboy, Stoneboy actually just left Xylophone Records. Yapono and Semini haven't really put out hits for a very long time. But Shatawale is just saying this just for... Um, clout he's just saying this just so i can report a story and just so people can say things because recently he did a diss track for Stormboy. um shatter wale loves to just diss people but he's very entertaining he needs we need people like shatter wale in the culture and at the end of the day he makes good music i would one thing would be if he didn't make good music and if he was just saying stuff for the sake of it if he was like vic o for an example just trolling people shatter wale is a troll but the difference between shatter wale and someone like speed Dull or Vic O or one of these troll artists is that Shato Wale she makes good music and Shato Wale actually is a serious artist since 2013 till now he's been on top no one has been able to really um, kick him off the top spot and I think his arrogance and his pride makes you hate make makes him makes it even worse because he just stays on top he knows what he needs to do but anyway let me know what you guys think man uh, why do you think chatawale is doing this does he have an album coming on the way does he have things coming on the way do you think Wizkid and olamide is poor because i don't think they're poor but anyway let me know what you guys think leave a like comment make sure you subscribe that's the only way turn on a notification and send me the stories that you want me to do hit me up on the social media instagram and twitter instagram that's afrochop underscore and twitter that's just afrochop by itself um it's your number one journalist mr montgomery <sighs> shatawale he can never get a break peace